Hello everyone, myself Neetu, Faculty Silver Hills Public School. We are going to discuss on the topic, We Need Shelter, Class 3, EVS, Chapter 12. Every human being needs certain requirements. These requirements include food, shelter and clothing. So today we are going to discuss on shelter. We all need a house to live in with our family. Our house is not just a concrete building made of cement and bricks. It is made with love, caring, belongingness and respect that we share with our family members. Our house is an enjoyable place where we learn, live and laugh. We learn a lot of values and qualities from the members of our house. Look at this picture children. In both pictures you can see two children sleeping. The context is same. Both of them are sleeping. But the condition is different. Look at the first picture. You can see a boy, a shelterless, a homeless boy. He has got a lot of things to worry about. The rain, the wind, thieves, animals, everything worries him. He is concerned about a lot of things. But look at the second picture. You can see a boy, he is enjoying the shelter of his house. He is enjoying the comfort of his house. The four, four walls of his house protect him. There are millions of people in this world who are shelterless. So we have to think ourselves lucky children. We all are lucky because we have a loving family and also we have a house to live in. Let us move on to the chapter, We Need Shelter. These are the topics that we are going to discuss today. Why do we need a house? Types of houses, special houses, a good and clean house, decorating houses. See, these are our ancestors, the early human beings. Early human beings were hunter-gatherers. They did not live in a fixed place. They moved from one place to another. They kill animals and eat them raw. They did not have a permanent place to live. They lived in caves. Caves were their temporary houses. So after invention of fire, they started building simple houses. Simple houses were built with mud, dry leaves, stick, etc. From here, from this simple house, the journey of houses begin. From this simple house to the skyscrapers that we build today, multi-story buildings. Next question, why do we need a house? Why do we need a house? You all know why do we need a house? We need a house to live in. We also need a house to protect ourselves from cold, wind, rain, storm, heat, thieves and wild animals. So we need a house to live in and also houses protect us from cold, wind, rain, storm, heat, thieves and wild animals. There are different types of houses and the kind of houses a person live depends on certain features like the climate of that place, the materials used to build that house and also the requirement of the family. The houses that we find in cold places is not the same as the houses that we find in hot places. And also the materials used to build houses are different. And requirement of the family, small family needs small house and big family with lots of members need a bigger house. So basically the houses are divided into two, kacha house and paka house. Houses are divided into kacha and pakka houses. Kacha houses are not strong. They are temporary houses. Temporary houses that we usually find in villages are known as kacha houses. And pakka houses are strong and permanent houses. They last for a long time. See, this is a kacha house. This kacha house are usually found in villages. They are made of mud, straw, leaves, etc. The roof of the kacha houses are made of thatched leaves, thatched leaf and also palm leaves. These are the materials that we use to make a kacha house, straw, bamboo, mud and leaves. The materials used to make a kacha house are straw, bamboo, mud and leaves. 
So kacha houses are made of mud, straw, leaves and bamboo. They are not strong and can be damaged easily. Wind, a strong wind or flood uh, or uh, earthquake or rain is enough to destroy a kacha house. And it has to be rebuilt and repaired every year. Just before the rainy season, this kacha houses has to be rebuilt and repaired. And also they are cheap and easy to build because mud, straw, these are things that is available everywhere. So it is easy and cheap to build. Next, pakka houses. On looking at this houses itself, you can make out these houses are very strong. Pakka houses are strong and permanent houses. Can you name the materials that, can, that are used to build pakka houses? Can you? So cement, bricks, you can see bricks here. Bricks, cement, stone, steel are materials that are used to build a pakka house. Brick, sand, wood, cement and steel are the materials that are used to build a strong pakka house. Pakka house are strong and last for many years. They last for many years and they may be big or small. Pakka houses are mainly divided into three types, Haveli, multi-storey buildings and bungalows. Haveli, multi-storey buildings and bungalow. What do you mean by Haveli? See, this is the Haveli. Havelis are old, big and beautiful houses. The sculpture and the architectural beauty of Havelis is splendid. Nowadays, Havelis are changed into museum, hotels and resorts. Why? because it's very difficult to manage such a big houses. Havelis are very common in North India, places like Punjab, Gujarat, Rajasthan, and also you can see Haveli in a particular area in Tamil Nadu called Chettinad. There we can find very beautiful arch architectural beauty of Havelis. Multi-story buildings. Multi-story buildings are usually found in big cities. In big cities of India, we can find a uh, Multi-storey buildings. Multi-storey buildings with more than 40 floors are known as skyscrapers. So what do you mean by multi-storey building? Multi-storey buildings have many houses built one on top of the other. Many houses built one on top of the other and each house is known as a flat or an apartment and many families live together. Wow, it will be very fun. You'll be having a lot of friends to play. So multi-storey building is a pakka house. Next, the next type of pakka house, it is bungalow. Bungalow is a big and independent house with many rooms. See how big it is? Beautiful house with many rooms and there is a garden in the front. Mostly the bungalows do have gardens in the front. Next, we are going to study about special type of houses. The special type of houses are built in areas with different climatic conditions. The first special type of house that we are going to study is houses on stills. Houses on stills are found in places where there is very heavy rainfall and there is occasional flood. So that these are built on stills so that the rainwater can flow through it very easily. What do you mean by stills? Still you can see the wooden poles here. Can you see the wooden poles? The, the poles that is made of wood or bamboo, very small, uh, very strong poles that is made of wood and bamboo are known as stilts. And wood and houses on stilt rest on these wooden poles. In India, stilt houses are usually found in northeastern area where there is heavy rainfall like Assam and Meghalaya. The wooden houses have got a slanting roof. Why do they have a slanting roof? They have a slanting roof because the rainwater can slide down easily. The rainwater can slide down easily if they are having a slanting roof. And they are built above the ground. The stilt houses are built above the ground. Next is the wooden house. Wooden house are seen in places where, where it is extremely cold. In hilly, hilly areas, in cool places, this type of wooden house can be seen. These wooden houses keep the interior of the house warm. So in cool places, we build wooden house to keep the interior warm. Igloos, very rare type of house. See, it is a dome-shaped house. Dome-shaped house. 
it is be, it is made in area where there is heavy snow falls uh, the area that is covered with snow throughout the year this type of houses are built how are the houses built the houses are built with the help of blocks of ice blocks of ice are used to build igloos and a special type of people known as eskimos or inuits live in this type of houses so what is the name of the people who live in an inu in an igloo it is eskimos or inuits so igloos are houses that are made of ice with dome shape igloos have got a dome shape next it is the houseboat you all might have seen houseboat kerala is very famous for houseboat what do you mean by houseboat houseboat is a type of house that moves through water houses that are built on boats it's a floating house uh, it is mostly used by the tourist people houseboats can be seen in kerala and kashmir in kerala we can see houseboat in places that has got backwater kutanad kumaragam alappi are some of the places that have got beautiful houseboats these are the houseboats that we find in kerala and this is the houseboat that we find in srinagar the houseboats that we find in kerala is different from the houseboat that we find in srinagar in srinagar the houseboat is anchored it won't move it is anchored so a house floating on water is called as houseboat it is built on boats houses that are built on boats next it is caravan caravan is also a special type of house the house that can be driven from one place to another very interesting no the house that can be driven like a car huh? so these are caravans caravans are houses on wheel see this is the exterior of a caravan see you can see the kitchen here it is a house on wheel and this is the interior we have got a bedroom we have got a refrigerator huh very beautiful to see a caravan it is portable houses that can be driven from one place to another tent tent is a house that is very easy to carry and very easy to put up a house that can be carried inside a bag can you think of such a house yes a tent is such a house that can be carried inside a bag a tent is a house that can be moved from one place to another tent is usually used by people mountaineers or soldiers who want to move to different places it is very easy it is very difficult for them to carry a house in their hand is it so they carry a tent along with them tent is usually made of canvas and tents are easy to carry and easy to put up so we are now going to study about a good and clean houses having houses not enough it is very important to keep our house neat and clean is it so let's discuss about some of the points how we can keep our house clean a house should have enough doors and windows a house should have enough doors and windows why should a house have enough doors and windows can you tell me a house should have enough doors and windows so that the sunlight and fresh air get into the house the sunlight kills the germs so a house should have enough doors and windows and also there should be wire netting why we should have wire netting to prevent mosquitoes or flies from getting into the house so a good house should have enough doors and windows with wire netting second one there should be open spaces like veranda and balcony so that enough and more fresh air get into the house there should be proper drainage system for the dirty water to to move away to drain away so there should be proper drainage system and the drainage system in toilets and in wash basin should be covered curtains must be put on doors and windows every every houses have curtains on doors and windows why do we put curtains on doors and windows it protect from dust and sunlight it prevent dust and dirt from getting into the house and also sunlight from getting into the house then the floor must be swept and mopped daily you should help your mother to mop and dust your house so that your house may look beautiful it is sharing of work you can do it along with your mother the floor must be swept and mopped daily 
Wash basins and bathrooms should be cleaned and kept germ free. Wash basin and uh, toilets are the places where bacteria and other germs multiply very quickly. So we have to keep our toilet and wash basin neat, clean it every day and also keep it dry. Furnitures must be dusted regularly and do not allow cobwebs to form. See cobwebs are formed, insects will grow inside and it will cause a lot of diseases. So the furnitures and other places on the corners of our houses should be dusted regularly. So last but very important one always throw garbages into the dust bin. Never throw garbages here and there. Always throw garbage into a dust bin and we should cover the dust bin so that flies do not multiply in them. So the green dust bin is mainly to put the vegetable peel, the dry leaves that will mix with the soil and the orange one or the yellow one is to put the plastic waste and the blue one to put paper waste. We put plastic bottles or plastic uh, covers into the yellow dust bin. Decorating houses. Everyone want to see their house or to want to keep their house beautiful. So everybody decorate their houses in different ways. People decorate their houses to make them look beautiful. We put curtains in our houses. We, we keep ornamental plants inside our houses. Then we put rugs and mats on the floor to make our house look even beautiful. And we hang wall paintings. These are all some methods to keep our house beautiful. But we, when we go to interior India, when we go to the villages, we can find that the villages decorate their houses with beautiful paintings on the wall. See the beautiful paintings? You can see beautiful paintings done by the people with hand. They also stick mirrors onto it to make their house look beautiful. See, they decorate the houses or walls of kacha houses with beautiful design. This design is very common in places like Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra and this is known as Burli design and also there is another beautiful design called Madhubani design which is used in places of Bihar, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh. These are some of the designs that make the house look beautiful. And also people decorate the front portion of their house or entrance of their house with colored powders and rice flour. And these designs are known by different names. Some of them call as Rangoli. In, in West Bengal, it is called as Alpana. And in Tamil Nadu, it is known as Kola. And also we have studied in our last class that people decorate their houses with mango leaves. Is it? When we were studying leaves, we studied in our last class that people decorate their houses beautifully with mango leaves, flowers and also neem leaves. So children, we all need a house to live. House is a place where we share love, caring, togetherness, lots of qualities we get from our house. So love your family members and make your house a heaven. Before concluding, let me quote a small poem. Home is where love resides. Laughter is plentiful. Memories are created. Lots of memories are created in our house. And love never ends. Let us create a beautiful house with lots of memories and love. Thank you children. Thank you very much.